Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a panther, which was a request I received. When crocheted using 8 ply yarn and a 3mm hook, the large one, the size is 16cm wide by 14cm or 6.25 inches wide by 5.5 inches. The medium panther crocheted using 4 ply crochet cotton and a 1.5mm hook is 10cm wide by 9cm or 4 inches wide by 3.5 inches. This small panther crocheted using 2 ply crochet cotton and a 1mm hook is 9cm wide by 7.5cm or 3.5 inches wide by 3 inches. I'll be using Katona cotton today so the size will be between the large and medium one. I'll tell you the size at the end of the video. Now I'll be using Katona cotton. I'll use this 179 topaz for the filming because it would be quite difficult for you to see with the black while I film. And I'll make one in the black as well. It's 110 black. I've got some beads for the eyes. I'll use beads for one and I'll embroider on some eyes for the topaz one. I've got scissors. I've got a sewing needle to embroider on the eyes, a darning needle to weave in the ends and a 2.5mm crochet hook. Now I've got my 179, the topaz, to make it easier for you to see and I'll be starting at the top of the head there and working down the head and the body in one piece. Now I start with 6 chain For row 1 I work one single crochet in the second chain from the hook. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet we put the hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Then I work one half double crochet in each of the next three chain. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. And we need one half double crochet in each of the next two stitches as well. And we work two single crochet into our last chain. For row two we start with two chain and turn our work. We work one half double crochet and two single crochet into that first stitch. So one half double crochet and two single crochet. Then we'll work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row three, we start with one chain and turn. We'll work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet and one half double crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 11 stitches. So one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch.
and into our last stitch we work two single crochet and one half double crochet. For row four we start with three chain and turn our work. Into our first stitch we'll work one double crochet. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook, take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops. Then we work one half double crochet and one single crochet into that same stitch, the first stitch. Then we work one single crochet in each stitch till we have two left. And we're going to work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. So we put the hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the last stitch and bring up a loop. We have three loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. For row five we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then we'll work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch. Into our last stitch we work two single crochet and one half double crochet and then we work 12 chain. We're starting on the back now. For row 6 we miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each remaining chain and then each stitch to the end. We'll have 26 stitches. So miss our first chain and work one single crochet in each remaining chain. and then one single crochet in each stitch to the end.
For row 7 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the 26 stitches. For row 8 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet in each of the first 19 stitches. and we work a joined single crochet over the next two stitches. We'll leave the rest of the stitches and we'll work the mouth part separately. For row 9 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of our 20 stitches For row 10 we start with one chain and turn, we work two single crochet into the first stitch, we'll work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch, we'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 22 stitches. So after our two single crochet in the first stitch work one single crochet in each stitch to the last stitch.
and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For bow 11 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the 22 stitches. For row 12 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For bow 13 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the 22 stitches. For bow 14 we start with one chain and turn, we work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches, then we'll work one single crochet in each stitch till we have two stitches left, we'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 20 stitches. So after our joined single crochet work one single crochet in each stitch till you have two stitches left.
and work a join single crochet over the last two stitches. For bow 15 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the first 15 stitches. Now we're going to start on this back leg here. We start with two chain and turn. We work one half double crochet into the first stitch and one single crochet into the next stitch. For bow 17 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch and one half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 18 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch and a half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 19 we start with two chain and turn. We work one half double crochet into the first stitch and a single crochet into the last stitch. For row 20 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 21 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 22 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the two stitches and then we work three chain, that's for the foot part. For row 23 we miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each of the two remaining chain. And then one single crochet in each of the two stitches. And we fasten off. And that's the body and the first leg done. For the mouth part, we join our cotton to the fourth last stitch of row seven. So this stitch here. And we work three chain. We'll work a join double crochet over the same stitch as the join and the next stitch. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into that stitch where we joined and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, take a hook with the yarn at the end through two loops. Then yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop yarn around the hook, 
Take a hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work two chain and slip stitch in the same stitch as the last part of our joined double crochet and then we slip stitch into the next two stitches so we'll be in the last stitch then we work one chain and work a single crochet into the last stitch and fasten off And that's the mouth part done. Now for the back, I've just added a bit on the back and along the bottom. We join to just at the back there, the last stitch in the back. and we work one chain, we work a join single crochet over the next two stitches. So we put our hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop and then yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work one single crochet into each of the following five stitches. and then work a joined single crochet over the next two stitches. For row two at the back we start with one chain and turn our work. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. one single crochet into each of the next five stitches along the back and down the side there. So one single crochet in each of the next five stitches. One half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. One single crochet into each of the following two stitches. And then slip stitch into the next stitch and fasten off. And that's the body and one leg done. I'll weave in those ends so it's easier to see when I'm working the other back leg and the two front legs. We'll work on the back leg now. So I'll join my cotton to the last stitch of the body, just in there. For row 1 I start with 1 chain and work 1 single crochet in the same stitch as the join, 1 single crochet in each of the next 2 stitches, 1 and a join single crochet over the following 2 stitches. For row 2 
I start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet row for the first two stitches and a joined single crochet over the last two stitches. For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 2 stitches. For row 4 we start with 1 chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 5 we start with 2 chain and turn. We work one half double crochet into the first stitch and a single crochet into the last stitch. For row 6 we start with 1 chain and turn and work a single crochet into the first stitch and a half double crochet into the last stitch. For row 7 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 8 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet into each stitch. For row 9 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 2 stitches and then we work 3 chain. For row 10 we miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each of the two remaining chain. And one single crochet in each of the two stitches. And we fasten off. And that's the two back legs done. For the front legs we join in the stitch after our back leg. So this stitch here and we work one chain. We work a joined single crochet over the next two stitches so not the stitch of the join the one two after that then one single crochet in each of the next two stitches and one half double crochet into each of the following four stitches For row 2 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 1 single crochet into each of the first 2 stitches and a joined half double crochet over the next 2 stitches. So we put the hook, yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. For row 3 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first 2 stitches and 1 single crochet into the last stitch. 
For bow four, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into the first stitch and one half double crochet into the last stitch. For bow five, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the two stitches. For bow six, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For bow seven, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the two stitches. For bow eight, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For bow nine, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the two stitches. For bow 10, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For bow 11, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. And then we work four chain for the foot. For row 12, we miss the first two chain and work one half double crochet in each of the two remaining chain. And one half double crochet in each of the two stitches. and we fasten off. And that's three legs done. I'll weave in these ends just to make it a bit easier and then we'll work this last leg and start on the neatening row. Now for the front leg, I join on the first stitch of the body. So this stitch here. And I work one chain. I work one single crochet in the same stitch as the join. One single crochet into the next stitch and a join single crochet over the following two stitches. For row two, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the three stitches. For bow three, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into the first stitch and a join single crochet row for the last two stitches. For bow four, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each of the two stitches. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. For row 6 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet in each stitch. 
For row 7 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 2 stitches. For row 8 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each stitch. For row 9 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each of the 2 stitches. For row 10 we start with 1 chain and turn and work 1 single crochet in each stitch and work 4 chain for the foot. For row 11 we miss 2 chain and work 1 half double crochet in each of the last 2 chain. And 1 half double crochet into each of the 2 stitches. And that's the panda, except for the neatening row. We'll work the tail and the ears in the neatening row. Now we don't turn or fasten off. We start with one chain and we work one slip stitch in each stitch up around all the legs. So for a slip stitch we put the hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook. You just find a suitable place not too far from the edge to put your hook. And if you have trouble with your neatening row, you can use a size or two finer hook to make it a bit easier. So we're just going to work one slip stitch in each stitch. Up around the legs and up until we get three stitches down from the back. So about here. So a slip stitch in each stitch. So I'll work up to there off camera and I'll be back to do the tail. Now I'm three stitches down from the back. For the tail I start with 20 chain We miss the first two chain and work one half double crochet into each of the next two chain. Now we're going to make the tail bend over so we're going to work a joined half double crochet over the next three stitches. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop, and then yarn around the hook and hook into the next one and bring up a loop. We've got lots of loops on the hook. We put the yarn around the hook and take our hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. It can be a bit hard to get it through. Now we're going to work a joined half double crochet over the next two stitches. So we put the yarn around the hook, hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop, then yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then we work one half double crochet into each of the next three stitches.
and then two half double crochet into the next chain. Then work one half double crochet into each chain to the last chain. And we work two half double crochet into our last chain. And then we slip stitch into the body where the tail joins. So I've missed one stitch and slip stitched into the next one. And that's the tail. Now we work one slip stitch into each stitch up along the back and to our first stitch of the head. So it will be this stitch here. So I'll work to that stitch there off camera. Now I'm um, to the stitch before the first stitch on the head, I'll slip stitch into the next stitch and I work one single crochet in the same stitch as the slip stitch. This is for the smaller ear and then I work a single crochet into the next stitch and slip stitch into that same stitch and that's the first ear done. Then I work a slip stitch into each of the next three stitches and then for the second ear I start with two chain I work one half double crochet in the same stitch as the chain work two chain and slip stitch into the same stitch And that's the two ears done. Now I'll work one slip stitch into each stitch down to the beginning of the row. So just at the back of the foot there. So I'll work the rest of the neatening row and I'll be back. I'm back to the beginning of the row. So I'll fasten off. And that's the panther done. I'll just weave in the end and I'll be back and we'll add the eyes. Now there's a panther and I've also made a black one in the same weight cotton. For the black one I'm going to add beads for the eyes and I'll just put a small white dot in the middle of the beads once I've stitched them on. So they'll go one right at the edge and the other across a bit and slightly lower. So in about there and for the topaz one I'll embroider on eyes. So I'll do that and I'll be back to show you the finished panthers. And there's the finished panthers. The size is 12 centimetres wide by 10 and a half centimetres or 4 and 3 quarter inches wide by 4 inches. If you've liked my video, please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below. Along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.